So Blackmagic has brought out a new version of the DeckLink 8K Pro called the G2, and I've got one. I'm Greg Corson, and this means that I can finally do a tutorial on how to hook up the Blackmagic card with Unreal Engine and use it for both input and output. So what's new on this card? The main thing is the daughter card that takes up another slot and has an RS-422 deck control, an HDMI in, and an HDMI out plug on it. Blackmagic has also improved the specs of the card in so many ways I can't list them all. You'll just have to go to their website and read the revised specs. Here's what the new card looks like with the daughter attached and everything assembled. The daughter card hangs a bit below the PCI slot and doesn't actually have to be plugged in. So if you've got room at the very bottom of your motherboard, you may be able to use only one slot. One common question a lot of people ask is why get this instead of a less expensive USB card? The main reason is quality. Most USB cards record compressed video, which adds noise and other things to the image that can make it harder to chroma key. This card records uncompressed video, so the video is sharp and clear. The other advantage of this card is that each of the four ports can be used as either an input or an output. So you can easily bring in multiple cameras or direct video to monitors or recorders. Here's the setup for today's tutorial. I've connected my camera into input number three through an SDI cable, and I've connected my Ninja 5 monitor recorder to the HDMI output. Now you need to make sure the deck link is properly set up to bring in the video and audio and send it out in the correct format. You'll probably see it looking something like this at first where everything is set to NTSC. So for this setup, I'm going to use the DeckLink Pro channel 1 to output. And I'm going to output to HDMI. So I'm going to click this box here. Uh, and I'm going to tell it that my video in and out is HDMI and save that. And then I'm going to click this box again, and I'm going to click this pop-up for the video format, which unfortunately, for some reason, isn't being recorded by OBS. So I'm just going to spin down here to, to 2160p 29.97, which is what I want, and select it, and then save that. And now you can see the outputs here are set up to that format. Then I'll jump over to input number three, which is where my camera is. I'm going to come up here, select my connections, SDI 2, in or out, which is the way it should be. And then I'm also going to go to the pop-up here and scroll roll down to 2160 at 29.97 hertz, same as the input output, and save that. And now you can see it's seeing my camera. And now I've jumped into Unreal 5.4.3. That's the latest version as of this filming. And I've got a real simple project set up here. I'm not going to explain this in too much detail because this is about hooking up the Black Magic card and not about generating the project. But what I have is a very simple augmented reality project where I have a CG element that's this like ring in this character overlaid on top of a media plate uh, from my camera which isn't hooked up yet. So first let's set up the input. We'll go up here and I've already got a little folder made named Blackmagic Video with nothing in it and that's where I'll put everything. So you right click, go down to Media and select Media Bundle and name it something useful like black magic camera and when you click away you'll see it creates these in this inner assets folder also for you automatically so double click the black magic camera thing you just created and you should get a screen like this you may have to move it into the dock to get it to be full size but that's something you should be used to by now um, first thing we do is we come up to media source and we say black magic media source and this changes things a little. We open up this Black Magic tab and go to the first item here. And my video from my camera is on number three. And I'm going to take it off of auto at the moment just to make it real clear what I'm doing. The camera is running 4K UHD, progressive, 29.97. And then I'll just hit apply. As far as audio, I'm not going to mess with that too much. Uh, I'm going to tell it I want to capture video in 10-bit, and I don't want to override the source encoding. I'm going to leave it as it is, and that'll keep the colors correct. And that should be about all we need for the moment. So I'll hit save, 
and then I'll close this. Now to actually see if it's working, we drag it out into the world, and you can see my video is coming through. It's kind of pointing at my desk right now, and my uh, recorder is sitting right here. Now that we can see our video coming in, we want to get it onto the media plate that's already part of the Composure composite. Right now you can see there's nothing there at all. So to do that, we just have to connect up the texture. And the easiest way to hook up the video texture is to go back to the content drawer, go into this Inner Assets folder. You can see the texture here. Just select that, then go back to the media plate, and use selected asset from the content browser. And now everything's hooked up, you can see. And I can take this and move it out of the way where it won't be seen. So now we have the media plate hooked up and we have the CG element. And if I look at the comp, you can see the two with the CG element composited over top of the video. Now this isn't meant to be an exhaustive example, but this shows you just how to get the video input connected. Pretty simple. Now let's talk about the part I wasn't ever able to show you before because the card I used to use didn't support output. That's how to get live output from Unreal directly from the DeckLink card. You can use this to record what's going on in Unreal, put it to a monitor, or any number of other things. In my case, like I told you earlier, I have a Ninja 5 recorder. You can see this here on my desk. Uh, that's connected to the output port of the Blackmagic card uh, through HDMI. And as you can see sort of here in this image, it's black right now. That's because the output hasn't been set up. So here's how we set up that output. Again, we go to the content drawer, and I'm going into my Blackmagic video folder. And I'm going to go into media and create a Blackmagic media output. And I'll just call it Blackmagic out. And we double click that to open it. And we get this rather imposing screen that you don't have to do too much to. First, I set up the output. My Decklink 8K Pro Channel 1 is set up for HDMI. So that's where I, I'm going to output. I'm going to output 4K UHD at 29.97. And I'm going to let it free run. And I'm going to come down here a little further and just set up a couple of other things. I'm going to say I want high dynamic range, Rec. 709. And that's really all I need to do for now. So I'll save this and close it. Now you can see there's still nothing on the screen here. That's because it hasn't been connected to the comp yet. So like I said, I have this simple comp set up. Uh, that overlays CG on top of the video from my camera and you can see the comp results down here. Now to get that to come out uh, to my recorder I'm gonna go down into the comp come to the output section and at the moment you can see it's doing a player viewport compositing output. I'm gonna change this to Compositing Media Capture Output. Then I'm going to say to capture the output to Blackmagic Out. And hopefully you saw that my monitor down here on the desk just lit up with the output. And that's really all there is to it. Now to be honest, I gotta tell you, if you're doing this really seriously, you're probably gonna wanna set up a lot of color information and other ways to make sure that the video coming out has the correct color, frame rate, and sync with all the other parts of the video that are in your comp. That's uh, generally pretty complicated, so I'm going to save that for a different tutorial. This one was just the basic setup of input and output from the DeckLink card. And now, just to give you an idea what the whole thing looks like when we're done, I brought it up full screen, and I'll play the animation that goes with it. And with this setup, I can record this whole animation directly onto my Ninja Recorder if I want to, in high resolution, with very high color depth, which is great. That's all for now. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you like the content, and I'll be doing some more soon.